I remember it was October 2003, and I was an intern at a church in California called South Hills. And I remember I was an intern with about four other people, and we flew up north to Sacramento because our senior pastor was putting together a leadership conference. And the cool thing was what stood out the most that whole weekend with all these incredible speakers and leadership and business was this. I remember sitting in the huge auditorium, and as these... uh, Uh, leadership gurus and these leadership speakers were coming in. I remember watching our senior pastor stop whatever he was doing and he would walk up to that person. He would walk up to that speaker. He would go up to their assistant. He would greet them, welcome them, and he would reach out and he would grab their bags and he would carry it and he would walk them in. And as he showed them where they were going to be speaking, where he showed them where they were going to set up their books and their curriculums and all that stuff, And then not only that, he was like playing like the hospitality role with them. Whatever they needed, whether it was a snack, whether it was a drink, whatever they needed, my senior pastor was there to serve all these speakers. And it was funny because I thought that was our role as interns. There was five of us interns. We're running cords and we're grabbing this and we're running and doing this things and setting up chairs, moving things. So we thought automatically like we would be there to serve them. Them, but our senior pastor was just so grateful and he took it upon himself of serving those leaders, of serving those guest speakers. And I thought about it. I'm like, here it is, my senior pastor who launched the church in Southern California. It, it, I mean, it was a booming church. He's putting together this whole uh, leadership conference. He's one of the speakers, but yet he's putting all those things aside to make sure all the other speakers felt welcomed and felt cared for because he served them. And it was in that moment, that was my first real example of what serving others look like. And at that very moment, is when I realized and I was challenged, man, I desire to do the same thing. I had that desire right then and there to be that person that served others no matter where I was at, no matter what I was doing, no matter what position I may have held or hold in my life, I always want to serve those around me. And I know that'll look different for you watching this video. You know, some of you, you guys might be a boss or a manager of some sorts. You know, you could be a supervisor uh, or maybe just a regular employee. Maybe you're out on the sports field. Maybe you're a stay-at-home parent. You know, whatever it is, maybe you're taking kids to school. You're at the grocery store. Whatever position, wherever you're at in life, it'll look different from you, for you. But have you ever thought, like, how, what does it look like to serve others? How can I serve those around me? Here's a thought I want to share with you. And maybe you've never thought about this, but I know it's a thought that reoccurred through this Invisible Kingdom series. But here's the thought. Wherever you're at, whatever your position in life is, remember that you are God's people doing God's purpose here on God's planet. You watching this video, you are God's child. You are doing God's purpose here in God's planet, in God's world. And and, and with that thought, think about that. The best way to reflect the invisible kingdom that we've been talking about is to become a servant to all. I love it how it says this in John chapter 13, verses 3 to 5. 3 through 5, it says this. Jesus, knowing that the Father had given all things into his hand and that he had come from God and was going back to God, rose from supper. He laid aside his outer garment and taking or, and taking a towel, tied it around his waist. Then he poured water into a basin and he began to wash the disciples' feet and wipe them with the towel that was wrapped around him. 
How amazing, how beautiful is this illustrated where we see the Son of God coming straight from heaven, this perfect life coming from eternity, coming down, stepping up from the dinner table, having the Last Supper with his disciples, taking off his robe, grabbing a towel, tying it around his waist, and taking on a role, taking on this humble, a role of humility, a role of a servant, but not only a servant, back then, those people that would wash other people's feet, those were the lowest of lows of servants. And here you have the Son of God coming from His authority in heaven, taking on the lowest role of a servant and washing His disciples' feet. And here's the crazy thing, with everything that was about to happen, he was about to be betrayed, he was about to be beaten, he was about to hang on the cross and be crucified. With all that around the corner, he still took it upon himself to serve those around him. To be the ultimate servant. He could have been crying. He could have been, man, man, woe is me. It's going to be rough. Guys, do you even care about what I'm going to go through? He didn't have any of that. All he cared about was serving his disciples, was washing their feet. The invisible kingdom is you. The invisible kingdom is within us, in our hearts. And we need to realize our actions Speak louder than words. Jesus Christ rose up, grabbed the towel around his waist, and he washed his disciples' feet. He served those around him. So my challenge this week, after you watch this video, how will you serve those around you? Maybe think about one or two people and think, okay, who can I serve this week? Because when we serve we reflect the invisible kingdom. We, inf- we reflect what Jesus Christ is. So my challenge for you, who and how will you serve those around you? Have a great week, guys.